Hey guys, welcome back to another video in the series of Git Crash Course. So today, in this video, we'll see about Git Help. So as the name suggests, Git Help means it displays help information about Git. And in the synopsis, you can see that Git Help, you have to use, like you have to type the command in the command prompt or the shell, and you have to just type Git Help and hyphen A or dash A for dash dash all so it will display all the available commands are printed on the standard output like on your console so if the option uh, is like hyphen hyphen guides or hyphen g is given then a list of git concepts guide is also printed on the standard output so if a command or a guide is given a manual page for that command or guide is brought so that's how it works so more we'll learn into the demo which i'll show you so let's get right into the video so for starters, you can just click on your start button and then just type git bash. Either you can just click over it or right click over it, run as administrator. I'll just prefer running as an administrator. Once done, it'll open on your system. You can just expand it from here or you can keep it that way. So let's see where are we. You can say ls, it'll show you the objects. Where are you right now? Or you can say pwd, which is the present work directory. Where are you right now? And if you have to clean, you can just do CLS, sorry, C L E A R, which is clear, and everything will be clear. This is just a basic command, but it has nothing to do with Git. So for the first time, what we'll, what we'll do is we'll type just Git and just type help. Let's see what happens. So you can see there are a lot of commands that are placed over here, and it'll show you the synopsis which I just showed you on the slide. And it can say that these are common git commands used in various situations. So if you want to clone, then you have to type git clone. If you want to initialize or create an empty repository or reinitialize an existing one, then you have to write git init. So you have to use git and after that you have to follow clone or init or something. On the other hand, if you work on current change, you can do an add. Similarly, you can have git mv, which is moving a file or renaming a file, a directory or a symlink. After that, you can have git restore. It restores the working tree files. Uh, this is self-explanatory and you can just go through it. RM is for removing the files, which is when you create the file uh, from the, when you want to remove the file from the working tree from the index, you have to use git rm command. There is a sparse checkout and there are multiple things like examine the history and git history and state. So you can see the git help provisions as well. You can use git bisect, it'll use the binary search to find the commit that introduced a bug. So bug is kind of a uh, somewhat related to error. And uh, then you have git diff, it'll show the changes between the commits. We'll see all of them if it is confusing for you right now. Uh, don't be don't be worried about it, we'll do everything in, in, in this course and we'll take every command into consideration and show you what's the result. And then we have uh, grep or grep. It prints the line matching a pattern if you want to search something you can use the script and then you can search it and it is kind of similar to the command that is used in your linux system as well and you have git log it shows the commit logs uh, let's say there are a number of developers they are doing some kind of commit in in the repository it will show you the log like what exactly has been happening since few days or since few weeks that's that's what it shows you and then git show it shows the various types of objects that you'll create and git status is show the working tree status and then again you have git uh, you have grow mark and tweak uh, sorry if you want to grow you can, uh, or mark or tweak your common history you can use git branch git branch will list and create or delete the branches so if you type git branch minus l it will show you the local branches if you uh, type git branch minus i'm saying you can say hyphen git branch hyphen r it will show you the remote branches and then this is one of the best commands that we or, or we can say that common commands that we use to commit any code it will just record the changes of the repository and then you have if you want to join two or more development histories together you have to use git merge then if you have to reapply commits on the top of another base tip then you use re rebase it's a very common question in the interviews that what is the difference between git merge and git rebase we'll talk about the interview questions in one of the videos that we'll create at the end of this course and then we have git reset git switch and git tags tags is like very much used because it creates list or delete or verify a tag object signed with gpg whenever you do a release in a lot of companies they use this tag 
and then collaborate uh, for collaboration means a lot of developers are working on other repositories or the same repositories and you want to fetch the changes you can use fetch pull and push so fetch is something like download objects from the refs from another repository and pull is fetch from the integrate uh, sorry fetch from and integrate with another repository or a local branch so uh, there is an also a very common interview question what is the difference between a fetch and a pull how does pull differs from fetch something like that and we will cover this in a separate video but now you just need to know what are the commands over here and this is the end command git push in which you create everything i also explained in my last video in the git workflow that you have to push your changes one once a while and then uh, you can read it over here update remote refs along with associated associated objects so that is how uh, these are the like basic commands if you want more just you can type this let me type this and show you so i'll just type git help dash or hyphen a let's see what happens see for the first time it might take some time because uh, it is quite huge so you can just wait for a while and then it will appear for you now you can see that it has appeared and then there are main proclaim commands add am archive bisect and everything and if you want to go out of it just type q and hit enter you don't even need to hit enter and it will come out of it so that's how it works guys and if you want to see the guide part so you can type git help hyphen g and you can see that it will show you the guides are attributes cli core tutorial and lot of other things so we'll cover almost everything in our git course and we are going to do everything on the console part so that we can understand how things go from here in git so this is a very basic idea of how to use git help and in the other videos we'll try to do the uh, use all these commands and make you understand what exactly is going on in this git so i hope you have understood everything guys and if there is any issue feel free to comment below and we'll address it so thanks guys and i'll see you in the next video